Okay, so after you've completed the previous steps, you're now ready to add products to your Amazon catalog. So you can change your title of your catalog. I've just left it as Amazon catalog, but I recommend you would change it to suit the type of products that you are going to be selling, or you can call it store or storefront, etc. And you'll see here catalog name, catalog subtitle. But if you use a background image, which I have done here, then the name and the subtitle won't show. If I choose a background color to be there instead of images, then the name and subtitle will appear in the header. So it's just to give flexibility for people who may not want to have an image here. Next, you will see a little button up here saying add catalog slash items. Now you'll see here that I've already added two different catalogs. And I'll just click just to give you an example of how it looks. And then you'll see. So when you add a catalog or, I, catalog or item, you'll be asked for category title. So as you can see, Apple Smart Devices, and then that's where it shows, Apple Smart Devices. Description, and you'll see here the description shows underneath the title. And then you can choose what button you wish to have. So for example, buy now. If you want, you can pick a different language. So you could pick French, or you could pick Italian, or you could pick Spanish. For example, we'll stick to English, or you can choose your own colored buy now button. The default is actually purple. When you're happy with these settings, you will notice that you have an image here. To change that image, just click and change or choose, and you can select from an image that you've added or uploaded. And then you're ready to add items to this catalog. So to add items, you just simply click on add items. Remember the Amazon associate program that you joined, in this case, mine was .com. So I'll add in, click on search. And you can see here that it brings back items. So I can just select which ones I want I can also load more results by clicking on show more results and I'll click on save. Now, once that's done, I can save and update and preview to see my changes. Or what, what else I can do is I can go to the products and if I want, I can edit the titles and the descriptions that are provided. So I can make my own custom titles and descriptions. You just click on the edit if I want to delete can delete a product here. Now to make you aware, when you have this feature added to your app, when you generate it and it goes live, if you come back to this screen and you add, say, more items to the Android smartphone category, they will automatically be added to the app on the live version. You don't need to generate your application again. All changes you make here, once you click on save, will automatically be synced across to your live app. So with Amazon, you have so many different choices that you can use to promote products. There's so many different angles that you can enter in at, whether it be Halloween, proms, Valentine's, Christmas, Black Fridays, Easter, St. Patrick's, and there's so many different ways in which you can build an app. So when you find out what niche you're going to be entering into then you can visit amazon and look for products that match your niche and then you can build out your storefront accordingly so this concludes the training on how to add amazon products to your app using zappable